Good evening and welcome to International Guitar Foundation's La Leona Women in the Guitar online concert. My name is Therese Wasili Saba and I'm here to introduce you to tonight's three performers in the La Leona concert. La Leona is a new IGF long-term project celebrating women and the guitar. Young artist development and commissioning new music have been key objectives for IGF for many years. And IGF has been addressing the gender imbalance in the male dominated guitar world with innovative projects such as Girls Rock and also the Venus and the Guitar Project. This new La Leona project also puts emphasis on women and the guitar. In this evening's online concert, which launches the IGF La Leona project, we are presenting newly commissioned works by women composers performed by three outstanding young women guitarists, Shannon Latoya Simon, Catalin Coltai, and Laura Snowden in a program that connects and interconnects. They are going to join me now for a short pre-concert chat about their programs. Welcome to you all. Thank you very much for joining me before the concert this evening. Um, Shannon, let me start with you because you're the first performer. You're starting your concert with uh, a very special piece, special to all of us because uh, Three Ships by Erilyn Wallen is the first piece that um, she wrote as an IGF commission and she has been commissioned many times over the years and that one is from 1998 but I think it's very special to you as well isn't it? Yeah um, I've played Erilyn Wallen's Three Ships for some time and it's definitely one of the, the first guitar work that I felt like I could truly connect with um, and that's due to Erilyn being a Caribbean woman of colour just like myself um, she's been a bit of a mentor for me for the past few years and these pieces are really special to me because they're they're just so charming and they're so fun to play um, just like her she's very charming and she's very fun and bubbly uh, I always come back to playing them because they're so fun and they ignite my love for the guitar um, they're just really great pieces. Fantastic and then you're playing a more recent uh, composition by Josephine Stevenson called Enero. Yeah, Enero was recently recommended to me by Tutor um, when I decided to expand my repertoire to contain new experimental works for the guitar, um, written specifically by female composers. Uh, the piece has a C sharp tuning and the resonance, resonance of the notes and the natural resonance of the guitar reminds me of the electronic drone music um, that I really love and I'm so fond of. Uh, the pace and like mystery of the piece is within the style of the repertoire that I love to play. And I really like how organic the work is. Um, that's something I look for a lot when choosing repertoire or improvising new music or even like preparing field recordings. Um, the mindfulness of the organic sound is apparent and I just love it. Uh, the work really embodies it in a, in a beautiful way. Fantastic. And exploring organic sounds is something I suppose we could say that Catalan is doing with your, you've designed a new guitar, which do we call it, it's the Ligeti Guitar Project. Could yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so, so this new design started with, with, with transcribing uh, George Ligeti's, the Hungarian composer's uh, piano cycle, the Musica Ricercata, and this cycle is based on different pitch sets and, um, and I wanted to create something similar uh, through open string sets. And uh, that's how I, I came up with this, this uh, design, which is actually um, a transformed fretboard with uh, magnetic capos. Um, and this, this design was, I, I got a donated wonderful concert guitar from the Altamira Guitar Foundation and, and Oren Myers, the British luthier, transform the fretboard for, for this new prototype. So I'm playing half of my program in this recital on this new instrument and the other part on my standard Sato guitar. Okay, and, and you're getting more and more pieces written uh, for this new instrument as well, aren't you? I think one of the pieces on the repertoire is by Anya Malon, which is a very recent composition. 
Yes, she was commissioned by the Irish Com Contemporary Music Center, especially to write for this very instrument. This is the very first piece written for this instrument. But since then, there are other many other composers writing right now. So, so it's a very, very fascinating process. I mean, OK, so that's wonderful to hear it here tonight. And Laura, another great explorer of sounds and expanding the sounds on the guitar. Um, I wanted to ask you first about the Enero piece um, that Shannon's playing, because it's very special to you as well, isn't it? Yeah, that piece, weirdly enough, was written for me and I premiered it a few years ago now as part of a series um, that Josephine runs. She runs a concert series called Listen Pony, where they do lots of contemporary music. So it was commissioned for that series. Great. And the we're hearing two pieces um, from you which were composed by you. And I mean, you have sort of a full on concert performing career and the composing is rather full on as well. So how do you sort of balance that writing for an instrument that really you know so, so well? Yeah, I feel like there's advantages and disadvantages to knowing an instrument so well. I suppose the advantages are um, just a kind of technical knowledge of what you can and can't do, but also a real intimate understanding of the different resonances and all the different subtleties of colours and very particular sonorities. But I suppose the disadvantages are sometimes you could maybe fall into certain patterns um, and perhaps someone who doesn't play the guitar might see things from a completely different perspective that you've missed. And also, um, you know, you can sometimes just feel like you've heard everything before, so nothing feels that original. <laughs> but mm. what I tend to do um, these days, I write a lot through improvisation, so I do lots of recordings on my phone and then I transcribe them. Um, and that seems to help me come up with sort of more original ideas sometimes because that feeling of presence and being in the moment when you're improvising is quite useful. And I think I also try to find all these different colours and sonorities that I really like on the guitar, often using extended sort of I, I don't know if you call them extended techniques, but, you know, extra stuff like singing, humming, using the glass slide, which you'll hear in these performances. Um, and just I like using the harmonics a lot as well um, and finding lots of special colours, not just for the sake of it, but usually because I'm trying to convey some very particular atmosphere or mood or tell some very specific story. Wonderful. The humming I'm particularly fond of, I have to say. <laughs> so let's sit back and listen to your performances now and we'll get together after the concert once more. Thank you very much.
Hello everyone! I'm here today to play for you two of my own compositions for the International Guitar Foundation. So the first of these pieces is called This Changing Sky and often when I play it I like to imagine that feeling in the very early hours of the morning just as the sky is beginning to change but also um, it's meant to be a title that's very much open to interpretation so you can really imagine any metaphorical or literal changing sky that you like. I'll then play a piece of mine called Strange World of Spiders, which actually was commissioned by the International Guitar Foundation and used as their set piece for the London International Guitar Competition in 2019, as well as being used for the Young Artist platform that same year. And I actually wrote the piece in this very room. Um, I was sitting at that table there that you can see looking out at the big um, sky behind me and I kept seeing these spiders that were outside the window and often I'd be writing kind of in the early hours of the evening just as the sky was beginning to turn pink and I found it a really eerie and interesting sort of scene with uh, the spiders in the front and then this eerie sky in the background and so that was really what inspired this piece. I think when I was looking out of the window, because I was looking at the sky, I also started thinking about aliens, and I think a little bit of that came into the piece. Um, there's this very big dramatic part where it's also very big, um, fairly near the end, and um, that bit was kind of meant to be the aliens landing. So yeah, it's, it's mostly spiders, maybe with a little bit of aliens thrown in. I suppose if you don't like spiders, uh, you could just imagine that they're aliens. I'm sure that's far more reassuring. So here's This Changing Sky, followed by The Strange World of Spiders.
Wow, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you to you all. I really, that was really special. So um, I just wanted to ask you, Catalin, about your choice of the Schumann, which was, it was wonderful. Um, can you give us some background to that? Actually, for some while, I'm quite interested to research the nocturnal uh, character of the guitar um, repertoire wise and how actually guitaristic patterns appear even in non guitaristic music non guitar music um, and um, for 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 this program I, I really wanted to integrate a composer who is well established I would even say canonic composer so there that's why I, I chose Clara Schumann but this time not as a composer only but as a very important arranger of music because this piece is originally a Robert Schumann song which she arranged for piano and created a wonderful lyrical gem of, of the original and I, I made the transcription which because I think the, the original piece um, explores a lot of different timbres which which are there on the guitar. So I felt it is it is a very rich word to explore. Okay, it was fantastic. And Laura, um, we have um, some that one of your pieces was an IGF commission um, from the past. But um, in our up and coming IGF guitar summit, which we're going to have live at um, King's Place which would be so wonderful to be together. So, um, Catalin, you'll be doing a solo recital and, and you have some commissions that will be premiered at the Guitar Summit as part of the La Leona series continuing. Can you talk to us a bit about this surprising new commissions? Yeah, so that's a piece that's been commissioned for the G Plus Ensemble. Uh, so that's a combination of string quartet, two guitars, and percussion and in my case I've chosen to write one of the guitar parts for nylon string one for electric and then the percussion part for vibraphone and the piece is called into the light um, and it was originally commissioned to be part of the uh, nature unwrapped series at King's Place um, and so I wrote it about bird migrations and um, that into the light kind of represents the bird's journey but maybe also it can be more metaphorical, our own journey in something. <laughs> yeah, I think at the moment, a return to the light is what we'll <laughs> feel like when we get back into the concert hall and get to hear live music by wonderful performers in a great acoustic, surrounded by people who love listening to music. So I can't wait for it. So we'll see you all then. Thank you very, very much for your concerts. And thank you very much for joining me for this online chat. Thank you very much for joining us for the La Leona online concert this evening. We look forward to seeing you live at the IGF Guitar Summit, 16th to the 18th of July, um, featuring many of the women guitarists that we saw tonight. Laura Snowden, Catalin Coltai, you'll be able to see her Ligeti guitar live, which will be wonderful. And we have um, new premieres, and from IGF commissions and just a wonderful lineup of performers. If you look at the link below, um, you'll be getting the full details. And thank you very much for joining us. Good night.